In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create these colored background motion graphics in DaVinci Resolve. So let's drag in our Fusion composition and head over to the Fusion page. Now I'm going to drag in this background connected with the media out. And you can go ahead, select any color for the background, but I'm going with the black one. Now make sure you have your background selected and then click on paint. Now go over here and select the stroke option and click on this brush controls and set the size to 0.03. Now you can go ahead and select any color that you want to, but the one that I'm going with is this one. So you can also copy this from here, click OK. And while you have, make sure you have your paint one selected and then go over to this side and then just move this by pressing and simply we will have this shape. Now we're going to create another shape just like this right here, but I will first change the color. So this time the color that I'm going with is this. Click OK and I'm going to draw this right here. So we have two colors over here and what we can do is add some colors right here as well. Once again, I'm going to go over to the colors and change the color from here since we want this sort of a color. So this is up to you, the kind of color that you want. But once you have that, you will be able to create another stroke. So I'm going to create one right here. This time I'm going to make it a little bit more prominent. And once again, go over to colors, select any other color. This is the one that I'm using. Click OK and then you can start to create a color like this. And for this one, I want to add just one more color. So let's just add in this color right here. And this is it. So our basic colors are done. Now, in order to change anything, if you have any problem, you want to change it, you can always click on paint and then go over to modifiers. Now over here, you will see we have some strokes. Now, if you click on this, this is the stroke six. So basically, this is the one that we have right here. But since we don't want it, we can ignore this. But the one that we have, like five, this is the one that we created. This is the yellow one. This is the green one. And these were one over here. So here you can see we have all the strokes over here. So if you go over to the first one, you can also increase or decrease the size from here as well. So let's just increase this a little bit. You can increase the softness as well. So let's go with 1.6. And even you can change the color from here as well. But this is the one that I'm going with. You can also go over to other strokes as well. So this is the yellow one that we have. And I'm going to increase the softness a little bit. Do the same thing for these ones as well. And of course, I could do this before even drawing it. But I'm just showing you how you can do this after you have already created them. So just so you know that you have an option to modify them later on. All right. Now what you can do is make sure you have your paint one selected and then press control space and search for blur. Now over here, I'm going to select the Gaussian blur and you can increase the strength in order to add this Gaussian blur. So change this all the way to one and this is the kind of effect that you will get. So basically, this is how you can create these amazing backgrounds for your motion graphics. And now we can simply add in a text connected with the Gaussian blur. And we will have this merge one as well. I'm going to add in another text and just copy the settings from here. Paste them as base settings. So here you can see we have a nice looking scene and now we can also animate this. So this would be very simple. What you can do is first of all, go over to paint one and we will animate this background that we just created. So you can go over to modifiers from here and from here you can animate them one by one. So first of all, let's go over to stroke one and then at 20, let's create a keyframe by going over to stroke controls right here. And let me just hide everything else. So we have the option for stroke controls and here we can add this right on effect. So click on this keyframe and then at zero, change this to zero as well. And if you play this, this is how it will appear. And I'm just going to quickly do the same thing for the other ones as well. So you can just follow along.
So if you play this now, here you will see we get a nice looking animation like this. And of course, we can also animate our text as well. So let me just quickly do that by right clicking over here in the text section and then selecting follower. Go over to modifiers and change the delay to one. And this time, let's go with right to left and then go over to transform. Then select this size. And then over here at 40, let's animate this. So at 40, let's go ahead, create a keyframe at pivot and go back to the follower, create keyframes for the X and Y in size. And then let's go over to 20, change this to zero and then the Y to a zero point minus 0 0.05. So this is how it will look. And of course, you can do this for the text that we have at the bottom as well. But for this one, I'm just simply going to do a write on like this. So this was it. This is how you can create this nice looking colored background animation in DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you liked the video and I'll see you in the next one.